Tuesday, February 21st, 2017, 6.30 p.m. Civic Center, 115 South 4th Street. Ronnie, would you lead us in prayer, please? <coughs> Lord, we want to thank you for the opportunity to be here tonight. We want to ask you to lead us and guide us and help us make the right decisions for our community to go forward. We want to ask you to be with all the first responders, our military personnel, and watch over them and keep them safe. Thank you for all your blessings. Be with the sick, the ones that are ill and need your help. These things we ask in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. <laughs> I'm going, to do a, a, I'm going to do item number one, then I'm going to restructure the agenda to get some other items out of the way. Item number one, discussing it. Oh, we might want to do a roll call. <laughs> Jeff Cope. Here. Dugan. Here. Dugan. Here. Here. Scott. Here. Place. Here. Item number one. Discuss and act on approval of consent agenda. A, financial reports for 2017. Minutes of the meeting held in January 2017, claims for the month of January 2017, budget amendment number one, two, three, four for the fiscal year 2016-2017 mid-year. Make a motion, we approve. Second. Roll call, please. Jeff Cove. Yes. Dugan. Yes. Duke. Yes. Scott. Yes. Clayson. Yes. We're going to jump to item number 12 for you, Jennifer. Discuss and act on approval of closeout documents for 16068 CDBG CIP 2014. Hi, we have been working on the capital improvement plan for the city of uh, Nevada. We have completed that plan. Um, it's been up on a 30 day public review. There's been no comments. So we're asking us for the board to hear her. So we're asking for the uh, the board to approve the closeout documents for that grant. I'll entertain a motion. <clears throat> it's where she mapped our water and sewer lines. She's been here a couple times before to discuss it with us. I'll make a motion to approve the closeout documents. Second. Roll call, please. Jeff Cove. Yes. Dugan. Yes. Dave. Yes. Scott. Yes. Clayson. Yes. Item 13 is the same thing with her. Discuss and act on approval of resolution to adopt the five-year plan for 16068 CDBG CIP 2014, and that's laying in front of you. <coughs> it goes along with the same thing. Make a motion to approve the five-year plan. Second. Roll call, please. Jeff Cove. Yes. Dugan. Yes. Dave. Yes. Scott. Yes. Clayson. Yes. Item number 14, discuss and act on authorizing the mayor to sign all applications and or grant related documents. Make a motion we approve the mayor to sign all applications or grant documents. Second. Roll call please. Jeff. <coughs> yes. Diggin. Yes. Diggin. Yes. Diggin. yes. Scott. Yes. Clayson. Yes. All right. Thank you. Jennifer. Thank you. Okay, now let's skip to why everybody else is here. We'll go to item number 19. Discuss and act on approval of ordinance number 1049, an ordinance repealing part 9, licensing and business regulations, chapter 4, public dancing, sections 9 through 401, through and including sections 9 through 414 of the Code of the Ordinances of the City of Henrietta, Oklahoma. <coughs> 
We are all aware of what this ordinance is. <laughs> Make a motion to approve. Second. Roll call, please. Jeffco? Yes. Diggin? Yes. Duke? Yes. Scott? Yes. Clayson? Yes. Dancing is legal in Henry and Henry and Hope. Exactly. <laughs> Item number two, discuss and act on approval of payments to AEP, PSO, in the amount of $18,323.09. You're welcome to do whatever y'all need to do. You won't disrupt our meeting. Thank you. <clears throat> Make a motion to approve. Second. Thank you. Roll call, please. Jeff Cove. Yes. Diggins. Yes. Dave. Yes. Scott. Yes. Place. Yes. Item number three, discuss and act on approval of payment to Fuel Man in the amount of $7,049.96. Make motion to approve. Second. Roll call, please. Jeff Cove. Yes. Diggins. Yes. Dave. Yes. Scott. Yes. Yes. Item number four, discuss and act on approval of payment to American Exchange Bank in the amount of $12,058.79 for the lease purchase payments, ladder truck, GMP fire truck, backhoe, and six-wheel dump truck. Second. Roll call, please. Jeff Cove. Yes. Dugan. Yes. Dave. Yes. Scott. Yes. Place. Yes. Item number five. Discuss and act on approval of payment to emergency medical services in the amount of seven thousand five hundred and seventy-eight dollars and fifty cents. Make motion to approve. Second. Roll call, please. Jeff has. Yes. Yes. Scott. Yes. Yes. Item number six. Discuss and act on approval of payment to Henrietta Economic Development Authority in the amount of nine thousand five hundred and fifty-two dollars and fifty-three cents. Make motion to approve. Second. Roll call, please. Jeff Cove. Yes. Diggin. Yes. Dave. Yes. Scott. Yes. Clayson. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Item number seven: discuss and act on approval of payment to Bank of Oklahoma in the amount of twenty-six thousand two hundred sixty-six dollars for twenty fourteen series utility system and sales tax revenue note monthly payment. Motion approved. Second. Roll call, please. Jeff Cove. Digging. <laughs> yes. Scott. Yes. Place. Yes. Item number eight. Discuss and act on approval of payment to Bank of Oklahoma in the amount of seventeen thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars for the twenty fifteen note series monthly payment. Make motion to approve. <laughs> Roll call, please. Jeff Coates. Yes. Digging. Yes. Scott. Yes. Place. Yes. Item number nine. Discuss and act on approval of payment of invoice number 505-411 to Hall Estel in the amount of $12,379.09. Reminders, which one is it? <clears throat> it's for professional services and it's for the Melberger Brawley. Make a motion we approve. <clears throat> Second. Roll call, please. Three. Jeff Cap. Yes. Diggin. Yes. Dave. Yes. Scott. Yes. Clay. Yes. Item number 10, discuss and act on approval of payment of invoice number 506-949 in the amount of $24,628.49 for professional services rendered. Thank you, motion to approve. Second. Roll call, please. Jeff Cove. Yes. Dugan. Yes. Dig. Yes. Scott. Yes. Place. Yes, and both of those are on the water plant litigation, just to make it clear. Right, but that's why I cleared it. So. Um, there are separate invoices from them, but it's different times of different things if you look at it. They're both Melberger Brawley. This one's through December 31st, and this one's through January 31st. So 12,000. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't send it in until late last month, so I didn't get on the agenda. Item number 11. Okay. Item number 11, discuss and act on approval of renewal of insurance policy for Henrietta Airport in the amount of $6,992. <clears throat> 
one on this cover? It covers everything that's always been covered at the airport. Okay. There's no changes. Uh, people in the hangars are flying out there. They got their own insurance in case of a tornado or something like that. For it's no cover them, does it? It just covers our airport. Oh. It wouldn't cover theirs. Okay. Well. Okay. Make motion to approve. Second. Roll call, please. Jack Cowden. <coughs> Dugan. Yes. Dave. Yes. Scott. Yes. Place. Yes. Jennifer, please, Mayor. It's, this went by me so fast that uh, this 12000 and this 24000 what is that for? The water litigation is at that, the water plant. Is that going to the river? Both, yeah. What's coming from the river in. How much money would we spend on that? Uh, quite a bit. It's but good. it costs quite a bit to have a damaged system as well. Are they ever going to use it? It works. Coming from the river works? Yes. It works. Item number 15, because we did 12, 13, and 14. So we're on item 15. Discussion by Andrew J. Keller regarding the condition of 11th Street from senior citizens north to the bottom of the hill and to discuss McCutcheon Park. Do I need to talk there? You do. You can, <clears throat> That's something I'd like to address to your council, your mayor. June of last year, if I remember correctly, I was going to have my name put on the council meeting agenda. And before that happened, I had Ron Casey call me to discuss my problem. So we met and we talked about Levin Street and what the condition it was in. And he said, well, we're out of money for the year. When we get some money in on the new year, we'll do some work on it. But in the meantime, I'll see if I can find a little bit of money to do a little patching on it. Well, he did. He patched up three or four or five places small places that was the end of it and you know I drive up every day practically it for services the whole northwest corner of Henrietta people going to the schools school activities people coming down and up the hill on business purposes and it's just in terrible shape no way around it. <clears throat> so I'm here to find out if there's any way we can do some work on it. And I'll make it quick, simple. I invite every councilman, city manager, go down to senior citizens, drive north to the end of the hill. I drove it today. Turn around, drive back <clears throat> down. You find me a, some street some, here somewhere in Henrietta that's in worse shape. And I'll take you out, each one of you, <laughs> to a nice dinner at my favorite place. We do have some in worse shape, believe it or not. <laughs> I haven't seen them. There's some over by the glass plant that are in way worse shape. Oh. Are they uh, main thoroughfare like this one is? Well, there's streets that we've had multiple complaints on, but I agree that 11th Street is in need of repair. It's, it's, but that's a lot of blocks and a lot of money. There's not, there are they, back when they did the hill, they paved a couple of blocks. Mm -hmm. And so that was left, the rest of it was just left. They two blocks and I know myself, I don't foresee any reason why we won't look at that street when we get ready to pave some streets. Is there going to be any paving done this summer? Uh, it just depends what the budget allows. Wasn't any done, to my knowledge, last summer. Right. Well, because 
paving streets is very expensive and when the city only brings in from tax revenue about 200 a little over two hundred thousand dollars a month it's hard to get everything done that needs to be done but we're slowly working on all of that well, that street needs to be done there's a lot of people who use that street like I say people going to schools school activities right wells drive people coming up and down the whole northwest corner of town and I would like to see you seriously consider doing something well, I think all of us here are listening to everything you're saying, and I don't foresee a problem with getting that higher on the agenda as a priority. And I got another item on the agenda that was the park, McCutcheon Park. I watched that from start to finish, and it was a slow process. I understand that. I understand that there's some land bought on the corner to help it out. And I've just watched all the man hours of the city people and all the man hours, all of the hours that the equipment was used up, up there. And I have to say, it's turned out a beautiful park. Well, thank you. We're proud of it. And I drive by there quite often. I live up North 14th Street. I have business out north of town. I'm by there five or six times a week, maybe more sometimes. And I see small children playing there. Sometimes I've seen as many as four or five playing on the water park. Or up to maybe eight playing on the swings. That's the, and that's all and well and good. But I compare all the money that's been spent there, all the man hours, all the equipment hours, and I think I wonder where all that money came from, and I'll compare it with Levin Street. And so, uh, well, part of it came from HEDA. They helped pay for the splash pad, mm -hmm. and then parks and tourism with the hotel motel tax, mm -hmm. and that can't be used to pave streets. Too bad. Right. <laughs> if we could pave every one of them, we'd gladly do so. Yeah. Well, I'm asking you to consider Levis Street. We will definitely do that. If you drive north on <laughs> Levis Street, in one place, if you're driving south on Levis Street, one of you has to stop because you can't pass at one spot up there. You have to stop and let the other car go by and then swing over to the other side of the street in order to come on down. That's how bad it is. And so that's my request. So if you go down Main Street and you turn north on 11th Street, that's where I need to go drive. He wants us to, you to go from south end to end, you know north and south from end to end. You know where Senior Citizens is. Okay. Just okay. drive north to the bottom of the hill, turn around, come back. It's It's got a lot of potholes in it. Okay. I drove it today. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you very much. All right. Thank you for coming out. Mr. Mayor. If I could, can I have you the minute on his topic? Um, you're not on the agenda, Bob. Well, you know I know, but I'm going to speak anyway, okay? Bob? You can have me escorted out. I'm going to tell you something. You took the money out of head of fund, and that is the taxpayer's money. We and didn't the taxpayer's that. money is, should be spent on something that represents all. That splash splash pad does not do me one I owe to bit of Bob good. you need me talking to the head of board not this board. Hey wait a minute head of is what you all put eight nine ten thousand dollars in every month of our tax it's dollars. It's by the tax dollars. It's our tax dollars people. But people you need to remember this this is our tax dollars. Okay. Absolutely. A hundred and twenty thousand dollars for a splash pad. Add it up. Add it up. Did you hear her? What? It's well glad. worth it. Yeah. Because I'm a mother of three kids. This part. I'm a mother of five grand. children, ten grandchildren, and three grandchildren. Up on that children. street, so the part needed to be to done. It, it was hey, very hey, dangerous. Do me when I, it's a one. significant improvement of quality of life. Yes, it's supposed to bring money into Henrietta. The head of fund is Henrietta Economical Development Association. And it's supposed to be spent to return money into Henrietta, not for personal use. I would rather have a new Thank park you, than new, no, I would rather have a new park than new streets and actually have something for my children to do and I'll drive 
two miles an hour down the road through a bunch of potholes. Hey, Mike, the Nichols Lake where it should have been put, they're going to build a splash pad where everybody knew where it was at. All but right. Nice. We'll move on. Enough. Item Let's move on. Thank you. Thank you very much. Item number 16. Discussion by Gary Majors and Wright Club regarding possibility of a new transportation service. <coughs> How are you? I'm fine. Thank you for having me. Uh, I'm a little disappointed. I thought everybody came out to hear about Riot Club. <laughs> they did. I wasn't aware that we couldn't dance while we drove. <laughs> you can now. But I can now, so that's fine. And stop by the splash pad on your way. And, and I will. We'll have a special splash, splash pad rate for it. Awesome. Uh, the Ride Club dot us is uh one and, and i don't know really how to to approach the the board we're not asking for anything so thank you for at least giving me a couple of minutes to talk about uh, the henrietta test market that we want to do here uh i, I guess most everybody knows what uber and lyft are they're a ride share service and we believe that Henrietta is a good test market for our new software. Uh, we'll be performing ride share services in the area. Uh, we should be getting something back from the state. We, without going into a lot of detail, we have to have a state license to operate and that's being applied for. Uh, that takes three weeks to two months. So we don't know when that's going to happen, but we'll be ready to bring rideshare services here uh, outside of the metro areas. Uh, nice part about one of the things that we'll be doing that will make us a bit different, we'll be having a calendar that you can go in and set up a ride up to 90 days in advance. Uh, if you know you have a doctor's appointment on March the 17th and it's at 10 o'clock, you can schedule a ride to come get you at 9.30 and take you. And somebody will come get you. Uh, we actually are here hoping that we can solicit some drivers. Riders are pretty easy. Uh, drivers are the heartbeat of any ride club. And we're looking for people who want to have part-time jobs that they can pick their own hours, pick their own days, pick their own rides. Now, we will have a, we call it a come and get me button, uh, like Uber and Lyft, so that if you need a ride from here, you can just punch the software up and request a ride, and anybody that's within the area can come and, and pick you up and take you where you need to go. But our, our basis is going to be our calendar program. And as I discussed with you, there's also a group uh, function that we'll have so that if uh, a business of some kind wants to uh, coordinate rides for their people, whether it be a nursing home, whether it be uh, a business, uh, we talked to Williams Company and they have 40-something people that they regularly schedule airport rides for and we can set them up as a group use one credit card within that and and take care of all those rides so I'll hang around for a few minutes I don't want to take too much of your time tonight but thank you for the opportunity to come into Henrietta and and do the ride club we really believe that if a community this size can use ride club it'll work anywhere in the world and, Will and that's, go to Tulsa? I'm sorry we go to Tulsa sure we'll go anywhere you want to go not just local not just local and he we'll, said they work in conjunction with cats that they've never had a problem with working the same place with cats because they're 24 hours seven days a week <clears throat> yeah what is the rates <laughs> and we we our rate is a dollar and a quarter a mile and if you go farther I believe it's 30 miles that drops the rate drops so the farther you go the less the rate but I have to have something that my drivers are going to make enough to to drive right. uh, 
Does this run 24 hours a day? It'll run anytime, seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Whenever there's a driver available, uh, we have drivers in Tulsa that drive all night long. Uh, I drive for Uber and Lyft both. So my experience with them, I became the consultant for this software. So, What is your requirements on the drivers? Are we going to have to have CDL or anything? No, no. No, no. It's all the, be... the, requir the state requirement is that you have to be at least 19 years old. So you have to be at least 19 years old. Uh, you have to have a car that's in good working order. We didn't put a year uh, model on it. Uh, it has to have four doors. That's part of the state. It has to have four doors. Uh, it has to have the driver has to have a clean record, and we will background check every driver. Uh, what type of insurance have they got to have? What they have to. The state. The state they? requires so much yeah. in it, and then we're required to cover a million dollar umbrella policy on top of that. It's all part of the state law. So yeah. we'll have we'll have all that. All right. Thank you very much. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Item number seventeen. Discuss an act on closing of 17th Street between Division and Troy Aikman Drive. This is the road, 17th Street, that's at the school since they built a new school on the other side and they're taking children, kindergartners, back and forth three to six times a day. This is where they want to make it safe. Yeah. Where you pick them up and drop off the kindergartners. But because they built the building on the other side of the street, now they have to take the kindergartners back and forth. Okay, I'm, I'm confused. <coughs> Okay, the kindergarten, or the pre-K is right here, and then they got the kindergarten, they got the elementary. Are you talking about that one right there? Yes, from coming down the hill from the high school uh -huh. and straight across to the end of that road, which they already have it as a one-way. Yeah. They wanted to be able to block that off when they need to block it off and ask the city to give it to them. Because right now they're putting up cones. Yeah. To make it safe for the kids to be transported back and forth so cars don't whip through there. They'll maintain it if something needs to be done. They approved it at their last meeting to come to us, stating that they would do all maintenance and everything other than the easements that we're required to maintain. Well, they'll make a motion. We close it off. But we'll still be able to go drop off the kids and stuff. It won't be closed. It'll just allow the school to have it. Okay. Because I don't want to drive smooth across the country to drop off kids at school. <laughs> it allows them, what they said in their meeting was it would allow them to gate it off or use it to make it safer okay. for the children. Okay. During drop off hours or transition hours when okay. they're moving them back and forth. So that people don't just go flying through there right. with the cones. Okay. Because they've had a few cones already broke, ran over, moved it out of the way. Yeah, you should see some of those drivers. I get, I, I've seen them. Okay. Have a motion and a second. Roll call, please. <coughs> yes. Yes. Scott. Yes. Clayson. Yes. yes. Item number eighteen. Discuss and act on closing six fifteen of North Eighth Street. Is that six hundred fifteen feet? Six hundred fifteen feet of North Eighth Street on the north side of Elm Avenue. This is a easement closure and this is allowing us to get the legals performed to bring the ordinance back before the city council correct john yes that's what okay. it's a, an easement request and for us to be able to vote today to allow them to look at it to get the legals done and proposed and then bring it back to us as legally proposed oh. Make a motion. <clears throat> second roll call please Jeff Coates. Yes. Dugan. Yes. Dugan. Yes. Scott. Yes. Scott. Yes. Yes. We've already done item 19. You're free to dance. <laughs> item number 20, discuss and act on city manager's report. <clears throat> I think as you can all tell, the city's moving forward. I think it looks great. I think Donna and Ron are doing a great job. I second that. The railroad is working steadily to fix their crossings right now. Main Street will be shut all the rest of this week. So make a detour around that or you're not going to be happy when you get there. 
We had Yamaha come to our ATV park and do a pilot program on testing. They brought all of their engineers. Um, who all they bring? Engineers, developers. From their side-by-side -side division. Yeah. From their side-by-side -side division, and they worked on our track, said it was the best one in the nation that they could find other than California. Spent about what they said would be about an hour out there and spent about six and got all kinds of data to take back to improve their side-by-sides. <clears throat> I'll entertain a motion. I'll make a motion we approve the city manager report. Second. Roll call, please. Jeffco. Yes. Dugan. Yes. Duke. Yes. Scott. Yes. Please. Yes. Item number 21, discuss, discuss and act on approval of a lease agreement with RC Aviation Flight Club at Sheridan Lease Site to be prepared by the city attorney. I have the flight club here to discuss that. They have plans of what they would like to build out there. They've been using it for a while. And yeah, we've been out there for over two years. Right. My name's Haley Ayers, by the way. This is Wes Arnett. And what we'd like to do is we'd like to bring in the AMA club, the Academy of uh, Model Aeronautics. Uh, basically, bring the RC hobby out there. We're going to have a lot of uh, events out there and that type of stuff, and we would like to use that field. Um, we're looking to make some uh, improvements to the field, including a paved runway and that type of stuff that is going to bring a whole lot more members uh, out there, uh, as well as the members and visitors. We're looking at uh, revenue, people coming over, staying the night, that type of stuff. Um, the AMA provides us with insurance, $1,000 for theft and fire, 2500 or 25000 in medical and 2.5 uh, umbrella liability policy. Uh, so any damages out there, they're going to help us uh, mitigate that type of stuff so you guys uh, won't have to deal with any of that. Um, uh, what we'd like to do is incorporate that into some of the STEM concepts here at the high school, uh, get people interested, get kids out there. Do that type of um, and then, uh, furthermore, we, uh, we, we we would like to develop a lease for multiple years so that we can kind of get our feet in the ground and get settled and uh, get everything moving forward. They're requesting a five-year. I had met with them. They want a five-year because they're going to build things out there and they don't want to do it and move off or, you know, have to be relocated shortly thereafter. They've been doing it, like you said, for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. Actually, Bruce helped it get started out there, correct? And they have been way. doing, huh? In my own small way. <laughs> <laughs> and they've been doing it for quite some time. But they have what we have in front of us. And also, too, in addition out. to what the AMA does, as far as the, the organization, the individual members will also have AMA membership, which covers them with two and a half million dollars of liability insurance. The individual club members will also. Right. Members and then. Right, so you, you have, have to covered as two ways. And you have strict rules of flying yeah, safety, and safety code, which is basically common driving. sense. It boils down to don't be stupid. And what know. people don't, what RC Aviators is, is remote control airplanes and right. cars. Well, it's it's anything that's remotely controlled. It can be cars, trucks, uh, what people are calling drones, which there's, there's a lot of things that can be considered drones. But if it flies or operates remotely, we, we want to welcome it out there. We want to put a track in so they can race RC cars and trucks and things like that, and that's extremely popular. The drone racing, which is what he's into, is just going crazy. They have it on ESPN now, and it's really simple to set up a track. They do it with the goggles on, and you can also put it on a TV screen so people can actually see what's going on. That's huge, and that will bring a lot of people in because we've got this room out there to, to do a nice track. Uh, we also want to make it real family friendly. People can come out there bringing their kids. You know, uh, be able to have lunch and, and fly and if they have an interest, we want to help them get into the hobby. But they want to spot watch. We're, we're happy to have them come and just visit and hang out. It's, you know, it's a, it's a great spot and it's a great hobby and, you know, we want to get as many people as we can involved. Where is there something like it right now? The next closest place is going towards uh, Oak Mulgee and it's, compared to that field out there, it's about this big. There are four clubs within an hour and a half drive of here. You can take all four fields put them on our field and not find them. Do they have competitions? Or oh yeah, and yeah, we've actually had a little bit of a fun flies there, and we want to we want to expand on that. A couple of the clubs have expressed interest in doing like a touring circuit 
Whereas one month they'll be at this field, the next month they'll go at this field, and then do fun fly type events. So you have very basic contests that you don't have to be an expert pilot to do, but it's fun. Uh, you can win little prizes. Sometimes it'll just be like dinner somewhere, things like that, or we'll get people that will donate model airplane kits or things like that. Um, yeah, but definitely do competitions, and that goes with the trucks, the, mm -hmm. the drones, and the airplanes. It's also a good place for gliders, so we can have gliders out there. We do video uh, out there. We do night flying. Uh, so, I mean, there's anything you can think of, we do it or somebody does it. And like I say, we've had people from the other clubs come out to our field, and they want to fly there. Their only problem so far has been the runway's a little rough. If you get somebody that's got an eighteen, twenty thousand dollar airplane, they're, they're not the same service, and we want to work on that. When we are, are the drone things in, aren't they inside? You can do them inside, and you've got some that are this big, and you've got some that are well. Bruce can tell you they're they're huge range of sizes. Are they uh, loud? Is it a noise? They, they can be, but they don't have to be. Some are very. Now, most of the stuff we fly out there, probably ninety percent of it is electric. Yeah. A lot of it, I could fly over you, and you wouldn't know it unless you looked up. Now, we're not doing stupid or anything like that. I mean, yeah. people see that on the news all the time, but. Uh, well, and where they're located right now is behind the dollar nobody. store. There's nothing. Yeah. Right. And there's so they've been it. doing it. She, he said he's talked to them over there, mm -hmm. and they come out and watch it on their breaks and stuff like I that. I just want to make sure we don't have someone jumping. Uh, I'm not sure. Don't fly over my house one more uh, time. <laughs> okay, we want to hear from people if they do have a concern. We want to know because yeah. we want to be good neighbors. You know, we, we want people to think of us in a positive way, what, what, a, what a fun family thing it is. And if there's something we can do to make it better for people, we want to know. Will these be held on weekends or what? Seven days a week. Seven days a week. Whenever the weather's good, provided weekends uh, is traditionally very popular. Is the FAA okay with this since we got a It's grant? remote controls. And it's well, out on that. The only thing the FAA requires, if it's over a half pound or bigger, they want you have to register, which costs you all three dollars. No big deal to do. And they want you to put the number in or on the, the craft where it's accessible without tools. I just, I've had business cards printed up for, for my club membership. I just got it on there and I just stick it in the airplane when I'm flying. I just wondered since we had a grant with them, I wanted Right. No, and, uh, and it's totally it won't separate. affect planes coming in after No, because we're not flying anywhere near high enough. The, the ones that would fly over us are <laughs> way up there. I mean, thousands of feet. And typically we're under 500 feet, and a lot of times are way under, you know, like 100 feet. What would, be a, good, what would so, be a good estimate of how many people would come on a monthly basis from over, say, 15 or 20 miles away? Oh, well, we've had as many as 30 and 40, but, I mean, you can have anywhere from 10. If it's 30, you know, it depends a lot on what's going on as far as other clubs. If they've got a contest going on, we won't draw as much. What we want to do is try and coordinate with the different clubs so we don't have conflicts. So we, we have an event when they don't have. Uh, you can have anywhere... Some of the really big events, they'll have three or four hundred pilots show up. Some of the smaller events, you might five or six. But, but something to keep in mind too, when, when somebody comes to fly, it's not just them. They bring their friends, they bring their family. And of course, they all get hungry, they get thirsty, they want to run over to Walmart, uh, you know, things like that. So that it, just the number of pilots is kind of deceptive because there's a lot more people. Than well, that. and you said you all go to Walmart multiple times to, oh, yeah. like, because of you broke this, you broke that, sure. or something happened and you needed to fix this. Right, yeah. We're also trying to, uh, <clears throat> I know the manager of the Hobby Town up in Tulsa, I'm trying to talk to her so I get a hold of her franchise owner and see if I could be interested in getting them to do something down here because having a hobby shop next to a flying field is a dream come true, especially to get the track in. I mean, Hobby Town, they're online, they're, they're national, they're all over the place. And they do a lot of business. So if they have an outlet to showcase their stuff, and we have people that can buy their stuff and they go use it right there, everybody wins. Thank you, Sam. Good idea. Anything you have to say. Well, it's something fun for people to do. Yeah. So you're requesting mm -hmm. a five-year lease well, agreement, which will be drawn up by you basically like right. you've already done in the past. So I would entertain a motion. For John to draw up the lease agreement? Yeah, for them to have a lease agreement with the city of Henrietta, growing up by the city attorney. How much? They want five years. But how much? Um, we can approve that when we do the lease, when he draws it up. Okay. Or whatever you want to say, you know. I mean, we did it with the Eastern Oklahoma Family Clinic was a dollar, correct? One dollar, 99 years. So you just give them to the Right. <coughs> <laughs> I mean, not to be greedy, but if we could get more than five years, we wouldn't be upset. <laughs> I mean, if the longer period you have, the more easy, the easier it is to get people to come out there and want to put things out there. 
Uh, Hodges Chevrolet is talking about giving us a storage building, a portable storage building for free to put out there. Things like that. Well, if they know it's going to be there for a while. So what are what are you wanting? Are you wanting longer? Because uh, if it, we could get, if we could you're get the one money. asking. You had just told right. me five years. Yeah, uh, five years would be great. If we could get as, even as much as ten, it would be wonderful. Uh, and that, that way we could really get people to commit to, to doing things out there. Um, because then it would take a while to build it all and right. do what you yeah, want. Yeah, I mean, things take time. You, you do events, people come out and they say what a nice place it is, plus they hit Nichols Park, <laughs> and they see, they see what the town has to offer, then they want to come back, but then they have to spread the word. So typically, over, over a period of time, you'll get more and more people to come. One thing I know will happen is we're going to get people from the other clubs because they've got really limited space, and they've got trees all around their fields. Mm -hmm. We don't. We can fly great big model airplanes. We had, uh, last uh, fall, we had a guy come out there with a nine-foot electric model airplane. I absolutely loved it. He lives 30 miles away. I make right. a motion that we send it to the city attorney for, to draw up a five-year lease agreement to bring it back to have us approve it. You want to do five? He asked you if you'd do ten. I think we should start with five. I mm -hmm. second. Okay, roll call, please. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Jeff Yes. 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 Scott. Yes. Yes. Item 22, discussion by Buck Shirt on concerns and complaints regarding the audit. Mayor, I got this email from you on Thursday, and uh, I really don't have any concerns or complaints about the audit. So what's your question here? You're here to discuss it. What's the question? You got an audit. Why'd you get it? Because we've got $31 million worth of questionable uses of uh, public funds. We've asked for a period since 2011-2012, 40 records requests, and uh, they've not been responded to. I know that that's you, not that's, true. Well, I know that you say that's not true. But <coughs> what it is did true. last audit prove? I mean, uh, they didn't come up last audit. Uh, oh, you bet, it. you bet. That, that's another. That's another issue that's going to be announced at the uh, town hall meeting. We got somebody going to share exactly what was done in the first audit, and it wasn't plain. If you can, how read, come the state said it was? Do what? How come the auditors that came down and yeah. said it was? Because they didn't say that. It's in the audit. They did. All you have to do is read the audit. Okay, Trey Davis sent you an email, though, requesting to have a public forum and that they would mediate, and you denied it, correct? No, that's yes. not true. Mr. Davis and I had a conversation over that, just like we had a conversation today over a question that was brought to me, that was brought to me that, uh, uh, that there was, that you've been indicating at the Lions Club and the City Council meeting that there was going to be four back four back-to-back -back audits costing fifty to seventy-five thousand dollars each on the city. So I called You don't have any back-to-back? -back? So I called Trey today and uh, I got an email from him. We talked about it over the phone. He sent me an email. He said he never said no such a thing and I've never said such a thing. You I have the records. Huh? We did a records request that you're fully aware of and we have those records. Then, then what you're doing, you're misinforming the citizens. No, you have them back to back. You're telling, tell me right here that you don't have any back to back. Back to back, back to back what? You uh, don't have any other audits planned? No. None. This is your last one. I didn't say that. I said exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, you're putting words on out here. <laughs> you can't have one audit at a time. To exactly, but you can have others prepared to move forward, can you not? No. You had this and move forward right after the last yeah. one. Did I? Yes, you did. Did you read the last one? Huh? Yes, yes. Did you read the last one? Yes. Then you obviously understand that there were issues with it. I'm saying you. The city manager is no longer here because I'm, of it. I'm saying you had another one. That had nothing not to do with the audit, no. and you know that. Well, yes, not did. You had no. another one right after you got done with the. Oh. Well, two uh, you can ask the citizens out right here about the okay. water bill board. We're going back to the agenda item. Back to the agenda item. What complaints regarding the audit do you have? I don't have any complaints about the audit. Can okay. you tell us, could you share with me, I'm huh? sorry, sir, can you share with us your pamphlet and what's on it? What pamphlet? The pamphlet you're handing out to people to sign your what's audit. What's on it? Oh, yeah. I've just never seen it. I've just delighted to do that. Thank you. 
be delighted to do that. Everybody got their water rates increased. Correct? Six dollars? Right. Why? Because of the audit. Mm -hmm. they who did, did that? that? They, who won? Let's finish. Let's finish. Last, time, last time we had an audit, four dollars was raised to pay for the audit, correct? It was supposed to be for four or five months. You never took it off. That's it not true. true. That's not true. Okay. Then proof, That's totally proof, false. We okay. have. So you raised an audit this time. I mean, raised the rates increase at this time. Initially, petition was filed with the city clerk in February 2016. Initially, petition that's brought out on this flyer was to address and change the legislation such that if the citizens of the city wanted to raise water rates again, they had to take it to a vote of the voters. And what what type of city are we? That's the other problem. No, it's not. Yes, what it type is. of city did you file that under? I didn't file it under any city. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. What type no. of city form of government is this? It's irrelevant. What type of city form of what, government do we you have? Tell, you tell them. We're a statutory, not a charter. I said statutory. No. All you're supposed to do is read it. All you have to do is <laughs> read it. So you think that's funny, Jen? I do read think it. It's funny. That's good. It that's says good. charter. Yeah. That's good. It's also yeah. cost the city about fifteen thousand dollars fighting that. You said that's been filed. That's been filed. I, let well, me the say bottom 35. line is, if the if the uh, if the initial petition had gone through and voted on in August of two thousand sixteen, you're, you're defending yourself pro se for that. Hold on a second. And the city's wasting tax dollars Hold on fighting. Hold on a second. It's going to happen before it's over with. It's going to happen. We're a statutory city, not a charter. It's irrelevant. It's really? irrelevant. All you have to do is change the wording. It's on the, it's on the initial petition. Go ahead with your flyer. Anyhow, yeah, answer your question. Mr. Sheriff, wait a minute. I got a question. She keeps talking about this and that. This is a mayor form of government. Is it? Absolutely. No, well, it's, no it's a council city That's manager. Right. It's a manager. And we haven't had a manager in this town the last 10 years over two years. Some two months. I mean, give me a break. Do we have a city manager now? No. Yes, we do. Go She's ahead. sitting right here. Mr. Rude will always interrupt any time he can. Thank you, people. <laughs> so if the initial petition had been voted on in August in the ballot, which was that was the, that was the focus of it, coordinated with the Albuquerque County Election Board, and the citizens would have voted on it, which would probably be in favor. But it has to be legally done correct. And the city attorney was supposed to help with that. That's correct. We're Did not, you contact the city attorney? Do what? Did you contact the city attorney? The city attorney had it. Did I you said, contact Did you him contact and ask him to give it to the want. city clerk? And she's supposed to. And it was it filed, and it is filed in court right now, so talk to Judge Adair about that. <clears throat> You asked me the question, so I'm giving you the answer. If that had been voted on... You're okay. giving me propaganda. No, it's not propaganda. Yeah. It's going to happen. It's happening in Northern Oklahoma. It's happening in Guthrie. And it's going to happen here. The citizens are going to be able to vote okay, whether they want the water increase or not. And you That's keep not true. You keep butting in. Oh, yeah, you keep butting in, Mary. And I have the right to do so. Well, I do, too. No, I got actually, free you don't. Oh, yeah, I got free. You asked me up here. Did you and know? I said, move you on. You can't take the heat. Oh, I can take the heat. You better get out of the kitchen. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, hey, your question. If the boat, if it, if it had been boat We are a statutory okay. city. Wait a minute, Buck. Mr. 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 Sheriff. Right. Mr. Mr. Sheriff. So they raised it. Mr. Sheriff, let the minister know it all ask you. Why did you request to be on the agenda? I didn't ask to be on the agenda. What the hell are you doing here then? The mayor told me to come up here so she could embarrass me. No, I asked you if you wanted to attend. You didn't respond, but you're here. So because you want I'm this on the to agenda, be your spotlight. Chris, Chris so let's spotlight. Was, yeah, she said we want you to be oh, there. You want to, tell, you want to tell everything you said in that email? Yeah. Go ahead. Spit it out. Let's hear it. Yeah. <laughs> I want to hear it. The full email. The full email. The full email. Let's go down his list. Just let him talk. Oh, yes, I do. We want to hear the full email. Christy's husband's sitting right there, and he'd like to hear what you said. <laughs> that a threat. You go ahead and ask. We yeah. talk about the audit. Show them what type of person you are. You said I sent you an email. You started yeah. that. So let's get on with the the email. What you sent back? I didn't send it back to you. Not to me. You never send me an email. She contacted me. No. No. You emailed me first. <laughs> and along with the newspaper. Yeah. Yes. And yeah. four or five yeah. other people that was cc'd on that email. That's about like an audit was going to save so ahead, much Chrissy. money and do this. Say what he said in it. Um, me and the mayor were at Nichols Park having a wet t shirt competition. That comes from Showing our, our bonds. Oh.
and one of us, or not both, were in a drunken stupor. That's what your employees say. My employees? I don't have employees. <laughs> what employees? employees? See employees. Oh, it's validated. <laughs> well, what was the purpose of that? Really? Right? I mean, is that just so you can... I, I, sorry, I sent him an email that. asking him to be on the agenda, and that's what came back. I mean, I'm just sending you back. I don't understand. Not to me. You never do. You never send me an email. Let's make that very clear. Well, never. <laughs> well, I think you're missing something here, Mayor. You've got a million dollar suit against me. You filed a suit, so the initiative petition will be blocked, and the citizens aren't aware of it. They're aware. No, they're not. You haven't really? told me it hasn't been in the freelance. Are y'all aware of the initiative yes. petition? Of what? Um, I filed it's a slander lawsuit huh? against it's him, which record. is still going. It's public record. The initiative petition was put in the paper. Ashley ran it. It was put on the Henry Edit. No, Ashley didn't run it, but by what the purpose of Ashley it was. Ashley was Angel then. It wasn't even Ashley. It wasn't even Angel. She it ran the initiative petition. Didn't say what the initiative petition was about. It was ran. So what else? What else? What other questions do you have? The she one, wanted to hear your flyer. I want to hear your flyer. You got it. Is that all it You want a copy? You want a copy of it? Yes, please. All right, great. Here. Can I ask you some questions about it? Come across it here. Sure, sure. Could I have one? Thing? What about the $3.3 oh, no, million dollar dilapidated houses? Where what? would that grant come from? City Manager's Board. Troy Davis has got that. It's, where can you get a grant for $3.3 .3 million? I don't know. City Manager wrote that. That's not me. Never happened. No. <coughs> Trey's got a copy of the city manager's report, yes. Yeah. You're just lying to the citizens. The city manager's report can say that we had $85 billion that we put in a street yesterday. It doesn't agree. mean it's 100% correct. <laughs> so now you want it out. <laughs> no, you I'm not like that, you. Where's your proof at? Where's your paperwork to well, prove it? Show me. <laughs> Three, I told you to bring so it. So the city manager's report. You didn't tell me to bring it. Where that. is it? State officers have got it. They're bringing it for you. We have all that freedom of record good, to request. Good. No, that's true. None of it's true. You're, you're going to get it. You know none of it's true. Well, I do know it's you're true. You're using it as your platform no, for council. No, I'm not. She's husband. I think I know what's going on with it. Well, well that's who I am. Well, that's what she said. 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 It's in there. So none of none of anything I read on that. I went over it. You were welcome to come to that open meeting. How many council meetings have you attended? It's irrelevant. I, I, I know it's irrelevant because you don't care what Nobody else. Like. No, that's not true. That's not true. We're having a town hall meeting. How many times have that. you come and volunteered? Tell me what volunteer jobs you've done in this town. I volunteered and worked with the chamber. When? I'm going to have to go through that with you. It's none of your business. <laughs> All right. I mean, bottom line is I helped the chamber. The thing about it is, is that there's 31 Until million dollars worth of leave, questionable right? issues here. Because you ran okay. the business off, correct? No. Yeah. Didn't you try to run off the clinic too by sending multiple emails to the federal grant? Isn't that true? That's what they said. You got to ask a question about the other. You want to stay on topic? No, 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 no. I do, but I, I don't have any information with me. But you're, 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 you're dodging If you don't want people to come to issue. Henrietta, then you have no business being in Henrietta. You don't even own anything in Henrietta, do you? Certainly do. What? It's a relevance of this. Oh my, you asked me up here about the audit. Relevant. What do you want to know about the audit? Well, you don't, order, you don't, don't want to know. You don't want to know. There isn't anything you, you say know. that comes out of your mouth. You don't want to know about the sewer running down our streets. Oh, let's go there. Bring it. You ask it. No, you ask it. Bring it. You ask it. You, you, tell me, tell me, Bob. Tell me about the sewer running on the streets. Tell me. Tell me. Yeah, you know, Janet. You know, all of you voted on the city council in 2008. Yeah, I did. There was a city council. You know about the initiative petition. So you're all on the same page. Well, you know, yeah, with facts. The same page you have facts. Not why, are you, why are you worried about, about the audits? Why are you worried about the audits? Because it's well, it's we money. get out it every year. Because yeah. we care no, about you don't. this. Okay, you, don't don't care. Care. you don't get a forensic audit. We care you, you don't even work here or own anything here, yet you keep wasting the tax dollars that we all work hard to put in. That's right. what's Have you even got a water bill under right. your name? Or you under your mom's if you had responded to the, to the records request, it's y'all's fault that the sixty-five thousand, fifty to 75000 is being paid, not the citizens. We, I was here when we did a whole room of records for Michelle. She came in there and said, I don't even know what I'm looking for. She pulled up your email 
to see what you wanted. Then you re then you send us a letter stating that you want to review it. We had right. it out for months, and you never showed up. Well, I went. And I thought you had two lies. That's a lie. I didn't say I didn't care what was there. I said you were trying to intimidate me by putting. And if you'd gone in there and seen, you asked for every. We were a chance to talk. We were a chance to talk. I asked specifically for things, and you sat there with your. John, you were there. I, yeah, I was there. You were there too, and you were a nervous wreck because what they had did, done. <laughs> what John, what John, John would do was intimidating. Michelle, you're not on the agenda. Can well, you please have a seat? Shut up, too, but you're not on my agenda. Did um, we not pull every receipt that they requested by the record request and have them in there? All I can say is I, I tried to be nothing but accommodating. Right. And I, I know I spoke to Mr. Sherd. I tried. Um, and as far as Miss Stemmy went, we tried to give them what they wanted. And, 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 it, was, and it was a lot of things. It was voluminous. It filled two of these tables. Exactly. But the problem is we didn't. But if we, when I came in specifically for an item, and you have this room full of documents, the record that's was, intimidation, and that's what you do best. Yeah. Well, the record the, request <laughs> was for all receipts from the fire department. Well, the idea was not to. The idea was to try and give you what you asked for. Oh, right? that's you know what? That's another lie. It was not. It was intimidation. Don't you tell me different. I know what intimidation is. <laughs> okay, come on, and that's Michelle. exactly what you did. Come and on, you, Michelle. Mr. What's his name up there? The Ford dealership. I bet you're a real wealthy man. Because everybody in this town drives a Ford police car or something like Ford. You. I'm working I'm retired. 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 I'
We aren't, but we're worried but about the citizens having to eat it. Right. Because you yeah. want it. Yeah. You're the well, only one wanting it. If you had to stop the initiative petition, we, do. they wouldn't we be, didn't they stop wouldn't be the initiative petition. It was fatally flawed. Read it. Fatally flawed. Yeah, we're not yeah. a charter city. You might Anything want to figure else? out your form of government. Else? I do have a question. Just out of a concern to this, and just forget I'm sitting here for a second. Yeah. What is your. I think Shannon asked the question, but you didn't answer. What's your future vision for Henrietta? What do you want to see for Henrietta? I'm here only audit only. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> because he doesn't have a future for our city. He gets to damage it. Okay. Here you go. Thank you. People, I've lived within 14 miles of here for right, since 1942. And if I could, I'd like to have a copy of the city budget. I would like to go over it. Last time I went over the city budget, I found $5 million that had been wasted. Not misappropriate, oh. just wasted. I'd like to have a budget if y'all can give me one without it's paying $25. It's in the $25. paper. You have to pay for it. That's the rules. I have the last two. Goodness, you okay. give it me was one, in, it was but in I could get one free. It was in the paper. Okay, item number 23. Discuss on act on entering into executive session under 25 OS section 307 B2 to discuss negotiations on Henrietta Fraternal Order of Police Lodge number 115 fiscal year 2017-2018 contract. Make motion we go into executive session. Second. Roll call, please. Jeff Yes. Dugan. Yes. Dugan. Yes. Scott. Yes. Place. Yes. Yes. Scott. Here. Here. Item number one, discuss and act on approval of consent agenda, A, financial reports for January 2017, B, minutes of meeting held in January 2017, C, claims for the month of January 2017. Motion. <coughs> Second. <laughs> Roll call, please. Yes. Dig in. Yes. Dig. Yes. Scott. Yes. Tyson. Yes. Item number two, discuss and act on approval of payment to Center Point Landfill in the amount of $10,050. This is a monthly trash bill. So when everybody says our trash is too high, this is a monthly trash bill. This is what we pay to Center Point to haul our trash off. Motion approved. <clears throat> Second. Roll call, please. Jeff Cohn. Yes. Dugan. Yes. Duke. Yes. Scott. Yes. Place. Yes. Item number three. Discuss and act on approval of payment to OWRB 09-0029-CW in the amount of $11,152.19. Second. Roll call, please. Jeff Cope. Yes. Dugan. Yes. Dugan. Yes. Scott. Yes. Lyson. Yes. Item number four. Discuss and act on approval of purchase of caustic soda in the amount of $8,500 for the water treatment plant. This is one month for one chemical to make your water what it is today. Make a motion to approve. Second. <clears throat> I heard rumors back there that our water sucks. Let me explain our water. We were the first in the state to meet EPA and DEQ guidelines. Our water is equal to distilled that comes out of the plant. We have proof of that. She's seen it. Ashley took a tour of the plant. We were the first city in the state of Oklahoma to comply with every regulation. You don't get any letters and our water is perfect. I would put it up against anything. Can I say something? Yes. How come we get letters from the water department saying if you've got a health problem? When? You have not, you have not seen those in five years. Five years. I have lived in my house for five it's years. It's been yes. not since I've been on the council. I've been, I've been in no, Indiana in my house for five years and I've not received one letter. Not one letter because we were the first ones to comply. That's a fact, isn't it? So your water's perfect here. I would put it up against any bottled water. There's carcinogenics in bottled water. Now, the house pipes may have a problem because we done some remodeling and our house pipes were bad. Like the, and so that may be a problem, which that's not the city's fault. That's your house because they're all old. I mean, most houses in Henrietta are not but we have amazing water, and anybody that would like to see a tour of the plant, I would be more than happy to accommodate you to see that. Item number five. Did I do this? Roll call? Okay, roll call. We skipped that. Yes. 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 Item number five. Discuss and act on approval of purchase of ferric chloride in the amount of $7,500 for the water treatment plant. That's the same thing. That's another chemical that's required to keep our water the best it can be. Motion to approve. Second. 
Roll call, please. Jeff Cohn. Yes. David. Yes. David. Yes. Scott. Yes. Please. Yes. Item number six, discuss and act on approval of payment of invoice number 202-7590 in the amount of $12,039.80 to Myers Engineering for the engineering services. What is this for? It was a request by Hedda, wasn't this it, one? This is the West Sewer. West Sewer. Mm -hmm. We approved to have it, the, the study done. So this is part of the bill that we <coughs> are required to pay. Make a motion to approve. Second. Roll call, please. Jeff Cohn. Yes. Dugan. Yes. Dave. Yes. Scott. Yes. Thanks. Yes. Discuss and act on approval of payment of invoice number 202-7653 in the amount of $15,094.96 to Myers Engineering Services. That's a part of the same thing on the West. It's different months because of when they submitted them. Motion to approve. Second. Roll call, please. Jeff Cope. Yes. Dugan. Yes. yes. Scott. Yes. Yes. Item number eight, discuss and act on approval of payment of contractors application for payment number two and the amount of two hundred thirteen dollars two hundred eighty and ninety nine cents to BRB contractors that is our drying beds out of the water plant and they're actually ahead of schedule if you look at this they weren't they estimated their completion would be September 7th of this year in the original meeting we had and if you look at the paperwork they're currently at what percent are they? I don't see it on this one. What would you say? They're probably 50% now? They're getting very close to it, yeah. This, by this bill, probably 25, uh -huh. just saying, when they submitted this bill. Yeah, because all of the, the amount material that they have, uh, that we have on hand now, too, for the project. Okay. All right. Um, a motion. motion to approve. Second. Roll call, please. Jeff Cove. Yes. Dugan. Yes. Dave. Yes. Scott. Yes. Yes. Item number nine, discuss and act on approval of proposal from Burgess Engineering and Testing Incorporated for construction material testing the east water storage tank. This is where our storage tank, our million gallon tank is going to go. This is the geothermal testing and the soil testing that is required, but it's still part of the bid. So we can get that going. Make a motion to approve. Second. Roll call, please. Jeff Cove. Yes. Dugan. Yes. Dugan. Yes. Scott. Yes. Yes. Item number 10, discuss and act on new business. No new business. Item number 11, adjournment. Make a motion to adjourn. Second. Roll call, please. Jeff Cove. Yes. Dugan. Yes. Dugan. Yes. Scott. Yes. 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 